obviously change for the O lineman because yeah, you guys you're used nice. to snapping Good. the ball under 20, where now the snaps are coming at like 30. Um, how well do you think the group adjusted through spring, and what areas do you think you have to work on to be ready? I think, you know, uh, it took a little while for everyone to get used to the speed and the tempo that's going to be going at this year. You know, the first couple days, I think everyone really felt like, wow, this is fast. It's faster than we've ever done. But progressively throughout the spring, you kind of felt guys were getting in shape and felt more comfortable going at that tempo. And by the end of spring ball, I think everyone felt pretty confident going there. Um, so really in camp, I think the emphasis is, you know, focusing on those long drives that are going to be 12 to 15 plays. And can you keep going at that tempo for that long? You know, you do it for six plays in practice and get used to that, but those really long extended drives, 12, 15, 18 even, is something that I think we have to be used to as a team. Ideally, that's the plan, but um, I think it's just something you got to be ready for, and especially in a big game, you know, you had the fourth quarter, and if it comes down to a 15 play drive, you don't want to be the guy that's tired and gives up a play at a critical moment. Um, I'm guessing I'll be starting at center until uh, Jake Renfro feels he's fully ready and comfortable to get back. Um, I'll play center. Uh, he's a good, talented player, and I'm excited to see what he can do. But uh, just not being fully available in the spring, I think he's something that he has to get his feet back underneath him and he's taking those steps to get comfortable playing on the field again. So I'll start at center, and then once Jake's feeling up to it and starts feeling comfortable out there, we'll figure it out from there. What do you expect the environment to be like? I think it'd be nice. It'd be a very tight knit family kind of environment. You know, coming off the field, you don't have any distractions at home. You don't have anything to go home to. I mean, basically just you and the team. I think it's going to allow us to leak for everyone to get really close as a group, even closer together. You know, you're spending countless hours every day with these guys. So getting comfortable and getting really close as a, as a team, I think, is something that we're gonna, really going to happen in Platteville, and I'm excited to see how that works. What concerns, if any, do you have about getting this line to come together and play the way you have to play with a different blocking scheme, having to play quicker, to be ready to, to succeed consistently? I think the biggest concern is honestly the most exciting thing is that I feel like we have a lot of players that can fill a lot of roles this year. So kind of seeing where things shake out. Um, we have a lot of young guys that I feel like are close to being able to step into those roles and play. You know, Joe Brunner, Nolan Roosh, you guys like that who have been younger and under the wing for a little while, but have taken big strides to being able to play. And I think, you know, since this fall camp, hoping that they're able to make those jumps and then, you know, we go from being able to play seven to eight and even nine. Um, it really allows for guys to get rotations, feel fresh, and allow us to kind of keep guys on the field feeling really well and kind of outplay the defense on that tempo. Yeah, no, it's on the offensive line, you hold yourself to a really high nice standard of that reputation. How do you feel about the way y'all perform? It's not enough, I mean, uh, just kind of looking back, there's just always something you can do better, I think. Going into this year, we focus on honing on the little details, what the Senate League and I do better to make this unit better. Um, just kind of building that cohesion throughout the fall camp. But I'm excited. I just think we haven't played at the level we needed to in the past few years, but I'm excited to kind of prove that we can do that this year. There were some times in the spring, I think just the snapping, the two quarterbacks, the second half, it wasn't as well, as good as you guys would like it. Did you, did you do any work on that in the offseason? Yeah, yeah, so, you know, coming out of spring, obviously, it's a big focus point that we you know, snaps. So I think every day, you know, me and the other centers come out here and get 30 to 50 snaps a day and just kind of focus on, okay, let's just work on these certain steps for today. We're going to step to our right. And once you get comfortable there, we'll go to the I don't think so, no. I heard um, so somewhere the past few months, south of here, um, just kind of getting southwest. comfortable and more comfortable and really getting the repetitions that you need to get comfortable doing that. But I, I feel a lot better about it now and I'm excited to see and show up on the field. It's next to mom, but still. <laughs> I, I did live in one of those in the dorms. Okay. I, I mean, 